We're back at the map screen. I just positioned tree number three. At this time, I'm gonna go take a height measurement. I want that height measurement to auto-populate into the point number three's attributes. At this time, we wanna go ahead and navigate the True Pulse 360 to the height mode. Go ahead and press the mode buttons up or down until you see HT and HD flashing. At this time, go ahead and take a horizontal distance measurement to that tree. It prompts me for an angle one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a base angle. It prompts me for angle number two, do a top angle. And a height value is shown. Laser GIS actually notifies me if a height value is populated. At this point, I want to go ahead and check to see if that the height value actually populated into the attribute, attributes of point number three. I want to go back to the Browse toolbar, choose Identify icon, and tap on point number three. Go ahead and tap the Attributes tab, and just verify that value automatically populated into the field. Hit OK. At this time, I just want to go back to point number two, or the second tree and capture its height. From there, I go to the edit toolbar, the select button, and tap on number two. You'll notify you, you've selected number two by a little blue icon, a blue dot right on that, on that point. From here, just perform another height routine on point number two. Take a horizontal distance measurement prompts me for angle one, do a base angle. Prompts me for angle number two, take a top angle. A height value is shown. Again, laser GIS notifies me that I have a height value. From there, I'm just gonna show you the whole workflow. I'm gonna go back to the laser GIS icon and take another tree. I'm gonna go ahead and position a fourth tree. We wanna to toggle the True Pulse Laser Range Finder back to horizontal distance mode, HD only. Take a measurement to that tree. The auto measurement, the auto accept, everything is being generated in the background. I've got my fourth tree. Now I wanna perform that height. By capturing that height, go ahead and toggle back to the height, height mode, HT solid, HD flashing, and perform the routine. Get a measurement, I'm going to do a top angle, and I'm going to do a base angle. I get a height value, laser GIS again notifies me I got a value, and that's the easy way to capture that height.